Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, or whatever time you are watching this video from. It is Mr. Two and TV. Today, this morning, the city of Forest Park will bring you another type of a visa. Like we earlier started, we started with the series type of visa that we you want you guys to come on here in the United States of America. Coming live from the city of Forest Park is Mr. To the End TV. My name is Levi Msendi. I'm in my YouTube channel is called uh, uh, To the End TV. On that channel, we post information about how you can get yourself to the United States of America. Before we go any further, I would like to put out a disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. No, I do not represent any type of a board government here in the United States. Uh, I'm just someone who had a chance to come to the USA through winning DV Rotary. And now I feel I'm indebted to share this information so that uh, other people can manage to come to the USA through like the way I came here. So today, we're going to look at another type of a visa. So this type of visa is called uh, E1 and E2 type of a visa. So like it was, I'm going to give a definition so that you understand on what we are looking for today. So follow along and let's go. So what is uh, the E1 and E type of a visa? It is both a non-immigrant visa that allows individuals to enter the United States for the purpose of engaging in, 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 in international trade or investing in the USA enterprise, respectively. The E-1 visa is for individuals who are engaged in substantial trade between their home country and the United States. The visa requires that the individual be a citizen of a country that has a treat of commerce and navigation with the United States. The individual must also be be coming to the United States to engage in substantial trade, which is generally defined as a continuous flow of sizable international trade items involving numerous transactions over time. That's the E1, e, e, E1 visa. Then the E2 visa is for the individual who are coming to the United States to invest a substantial amount of capital in the USA enterprise. Like the E1 visa, the individual must be a citizen of a country that has a treat of commerce and navigation with the United States. Additionally, the individual must be coming to the United States to develop and direct the enterprise or to be actively involved in the engagement of the enterprise. The investments must be substantial and the enterprise must generate more than enough income to provide a minimum living for the investor and his or her family. Both the E-1 and E-Visas are temporary, but can be renewed indefinitely as long as the requirements for the visa continue to, to be met. Yes. So this is uh, the type of a visa that uh, a country that has got a treat with the USA, its citizen can engage in two. So if your country is among this country that has got this treat, then uh, you can come to the United States through this type of a visa. So, uh, there are a number of countries that has got this treat. However, we will go on and maybe uh, mention some of the countries that has got this type of a treat with the United States of America. So the list of countries that qualify for E1 and E visa can change over time as, in, as new treats are negotiated and old ones are amended or terminated. Currently, there are over 80 countries that have treats with the United States that allow their citizens to apply for E1 and E2 visas. There are about 80 countries that uh, whose people can engage into this type of a visa. Yes. So some of the countries that qualify for E1 visa include the United Kingdom, Japan, Germany, France, Canada, Australia. Some of the countries that qualify for E visa include Israel, South, South Korea, Turkey, Mexico, and Colombia. It is important to note that not all countries have both E1 and, and E2. 
treats with the United States and the specific requirement for each treat can vary. Therefore, it is important to consult with an immigration attorney or USA embassy or cons consular consulate in your home country to determine your eligibility for this, this type of a visa. So now, this is another type of a visa. There are quite a number of uh, countries that uh, those people can engage in this type of visa. As you heard, I mentioned about 80 countries. There are African countries, uh, from the West, as well as other neighboring countries, or neighboring countries to the USA. So now, these visas come with advantages and disadvantages, like we always do. Both share disadvantages and advantages. So now let's look at uh, the, the advantages of this type of a visa, the, the E1 and the E and the e, E2 type of a visa. The following are the advantages of this type of a visa. Business opportunities. With E1 visa, you can engage in substantial trade between your home country and the United States. With an E2 visa, you can invest in, in, in and manage your USA's business. This can provide many opportunities for businesses growth and extensions. Uh, advantage number two, flexibility. Both visas allow for temporary stay in the United States, but they can be renewed indefinitely as long as the requirements are met. This can provide you with long-term flexibility to engage in the trade or manage a business in the United States. Advantage number three, spouse and pendants. Your spouse and unmarried children under the age of 21 can accompany you to the United States on E1 or E2 visa. They may also be eligible to apply for work authorization. So, for as long as you apply under this type of visa, you can come with your children and your and your wife. And those children that are under the bill of 21 years, they can uh, engage in business or they can even get some jobs here in, in the United States of America. If they are 21 years and above, they can apply on their own under this type of visa and then they, came, they can come through this type of business. Yes. Advantage number four, no annual courts. <coughs> There is no annual limit on the number of E, just like other type of visa. So there is no there is no annual limit on the number of E visa or visa that can be issued, which means that you don't have to worry about a limited number of visas being available. So like this type of this type of visas are this one is is different from the green card because green card America USA only provides fifty five thousand type of visas for those people who get a chance to win the visa. But with this one is different. It's, it's, it's limitless. There is no limit of number of visas that they can issue. They can issue as many type of visas as they can because you are coming to do business uh, uh, with with the USA government uh, with the, in in the USA meaning. You'll be a taxpayer and you employ people from the USA meaning you're providing. Uh, income for 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 the for, for the country to benefit in, through taxes and for for people to work in, in the United States of America. So it is not restrict, restrict, restricted. You can there are a lot of visas they they can issue if you are to, to come under this type of a visa. And then point number five, <clears throat> no requirement for specific education levels. Doesn't need any education that you have to come under this type of education. No, for as long as a businessman, you can come under this type of a visa. Uh, unlike some other visas such as HB1 visa, there is no specific education requirement for E1 or E2 visas. This can make it easier for individuals who do not have an advanced degree or specialized skills to obtain this type of a visa. Like I said earlier, so this one doesn't require uh, education for you to come or to engage yourself into this type of a visa. It just needs you, you, you can, you are able to invest and open up businesses here. The, the other point, no requirement for, for a labor certification. Unlike some other work visas, such as HB1 visa, there is no requirement for a labor certification to be approved by the Department of Labor before you can apply for an E1 or E2 visa. Overall, the E1 and E visas can provide many opportunities for in international trades or investment and can provide a flexible long-term solution for those who wish to engage in business in the United States of America. So you can see under this type of visa, there are a lot of advantages 
However, there could still be other disadvantages, but that's why we always tell you when you want to engage this type of visa, do your own research. Like we say, we're not here. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, no, an expert into this. I just share this information so that you can do your own research and you will be able to discover that you qualify under this type of a visa. So now let's go and look at disadvantages. My fans, we love you and that's why we are here to provide with this type of information. Okay, so let's look at the advantages now. Now the E1 and E2 visas offer several advantages. There are also some potential disadvantages to consider and the disadvantages are as follows. Limited purposes. The E1 and E visas are only intended for those who are engaged in trades or investment activities in the United States. If your, active, if your activities in the United States go beyond the scope of your visa, you may need to obtain a different visa or risk violating immigration laws. And these guys, they do follow. So you make sure that you do the right thing so that you're not caught in the web. The second uh, disadvantage, no path to permanent resident. It doesn't provide that leeway for you to apply for permanent resident. The E1 and E visas are non-immigrant visas, which means that they do not provide a direct path to permanent residence, a green card. In the United States, if you wish to stay in the United States permanently, you may need to explore other options such as employment-based visas or family-based visas. Point number three, country-specific requirements. The specific requirement for E1 visa visa and E2 visa Visas can vary depending on the trade between the United States and your home country. This means that some countries may have more stringent requirements than others and you may need to meet additional criteria to qualify for this type of visas. Last but not, <coughs> but not the least, limited work authorization for dependents. While well, spouses and, and dependents can, uh, can accompany you, meaning they are they are limited to the type of work they can do. So there you have it, my my fans. But this is another type of visa where we're looking at. And please don't forget to subscribe because you inspire us to do more video and to do more research so that we can bring this information to you. We love you, our fan. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that once I upload a new video, you get notified. And once we upload a new a new video, you are able to watch instantly. I love you, people. Take care. Bye-bye. It is Mr. Chu, the end. I salute.